Hi everyone, it's Angus here. A couple of people have asked how to add chart ideas to existing ideas um, or to comments on the rest of the site or whatever else. And I realized it might not be you know, completely obvious to everyone. So I thought I'd make this super quick video, but um, here you can see I've got an idea for Bitcoin, um, you know, just a couple of different levels, you know, support and resistance, and it looks like it might be breaking out again. Um, so, you know, sort of a fairly bullish sign here. So what I want to be able to do is update an older Bitcoin idea with this new information. And so it's super, super simple. All I do is I simply go up to this little camera and you can see you've got these different ways of sharing this chart. So you could go download the image. You know, if you wanted to save it, then, you know, re-upload it somewhere else. You could go copy image if you just wanted a screenshot of that image and, you know, be able to copy and paste it into a, I don't know, like a, a you know, Word document or a Google document or something else, or, you know, even just an email. Um, the one that we're going to use here is copy link. And this copy link is probably the most useful one in that, you know, you can share that just about anywhere. So you can stick it on Twitter, you can stick it on Facebook or, you know, any of your social media accounts, you know, you can save it all throughout this site. So you can share, you can use copy link and you can share that chart idea in, um, you know, community chat rooms. You can share it on other people's ideas. You can share it in the comments section. You can share it on your own ideas. So the copy, copy link is one of the handiest. Um, open a new tab, just simply opens the idea in a new tab. And tweet image um, allows you to, um, you know, share it directly on Twitter if you've got your Twitter account linked up. Open a new tab will basically show you what other people will see when they click on the link. So I'm just going to go copy link. So copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find my um, trade idea. So this is just an idea that I've had on Bitcoin. So you can see I first published this on May the 9th. And, you know, just sort of following my trade, a bit like a trading diary where I can just sort of see you know, what I've been thinking at the time as it's been, you know, moving or breaking out or, um, you know, whatever's happening with it. And so, so it's just more of a bit of fun, you know, Bitcoin something that I don't take too seriously, but, you know, it's certainly tradable, so why not? You can see here I was, you know, trying to predict whether it was going to bounce around this area here because it had the start of a green candle. It wasn't something that, you know, was, was a, you know, serious trade idea because, you know, you've got this resistance line down here. But you can see now that what it's done, it's actually passed through that resistance area and it has um, broken back up. And so it's just now a question of, you know, how, how far will it run? Will it continue to run significantly back up through the $30,000, $31,000 mark? And interestingly, if you sort of have a bit of a look back, you know, again, this is just me being a bit silly, but you can see that, you know, through this patch here, you know, we have had um, you know, previous bottom. So, you know, there's a good sort of bottom area there, bottom area there, bottom area there. And we just really need to break through if we're going to get, you know, much more upside to, um, you know, Bitcoin down the path. So anyway, you can see here that what I've done is I'll just go update idea. I'm going to say um, broken back up above resistance. Really support up above, you know, the old support area you know, how, you know, long will it run for? Question mark and be a bit more radically responsible. Back about the old school, how long will it run for, blah, blah, blah. And so you can see I've just literally pasted it in, go update idea and done. Simple as that. And so it's just a, it's, you know, a bit like a trading diary where I can kind of keep track of it, you know, where, how it's going. You can see that I've, you know, got it in my holdings. It's, you know, one of the things that I hold, um, but, you know, typically focus more on, you know, US stocks and things, and you can do exactly the same thing. You can update your trade ideas and, you know, continue. Um, you can also do what, you know, Pejman's done here where he's, um, you know, shared his idea about how he might see it progressing on, you know, his chart here. And I think that I could probably go something like, what's he said here? So he's saying, he's posted about how we can film bull run. What's your opinion? And I might just reply and I could say, you know, looks like it is running again. Finally, paste, whoop, paste. And so you can see it's just like a, you know, easy way of interacting you know, the site rules say that, you know, it needs to be something that's relevant. You can't just spam your ideas, but you can certainly post this onto the chat rooms and, you know, other parts of the website. So it's just a, um, a quick and easy way where, you know, if you've, if you've got an idea you think is valid and you want to be able to share it or update existing charts, then it's as simple as, you know, 
coming up with your idea and copying and pasting that URL. So I hope that was useful if you, you know, weren't sure how to do that before. Anyway, go Bitcoin. Let's see if it, um, if it does continue to run. Thank you for listening.